Welcome to JD and the Sump C. E here. Um, this is the first board I ever really made. Um, these are some homemade tiles that I made. Uh, yeah, I used plexiglass and I glued uh, some Ferenc signs uh, on top there. That makes great cheap plexiglass uh, plastic card. Um, it's a good cheap source. You can use it. I made these tiles about two and a half years ago. Uh, coated it in sand. Uh, this piece right here is a little bit of uh, just some wood glued to another piece of plexiglass. This is really the beginnings um, of when I really started to get in to uh, building Necromunda boards. Um, I had a zone mort kit, the uh, the Dark Uprising kit, and I was I was working with it. Um, I didn't know, you know, kind of how it worked yet. Um, I had just started watching YouTube videos on building terrain. Um, and uh, yeah, here's here's uh, another piece there, a different way to use plexiglass. Um, that's actually a clear building. So those pieces on top that uh, you see there are uh, pink foam. This was the very first time that I remembered that uh, if you coat pink foam with PVA glue and a little bit of water mix, uh, it turns hard as rock. Um, it, something to remember with this board, um, I had an airbrush uh, for years that I used wrong and just didn't want to use it. So this whole board here has no airbrush work on it whatsoever. Uh, this is all brush painted. Yeah, that's uh, the 7-Eleven, as you can probably see on the sign there. Um, <laughs> for everybody who is not in the U.S. that doesn't know what 7-Eleven is, it's kind of a gas station, one-stop shop kind of a thing. Um, these are um, my real first attempts uh, and successes, to be honest. We played on this board for about a year and a half before... The Zone Mortalis stuff started coming around, the hive boards. Um, I also have some sump boards from this time frame too, when I really started getting into the sump. Um, and I'll show those in another video. Um, yeah, I got a couple more of these for you guys. Um, everything here is getting really detailed with the game itself. Um, I, that 7-Eleven and the uh, board in the center there, which is Tolliver's House of Fine uh, or, uh, Fish and Chips, um, were part of the games we were playing. Um, they were narrative pieces. Uh, that piece I just moved there is a ghast harvest. Um, I made a piece of terrain for it. That tower there, oh my God. Um, I actually didn't make that. All I did was repaint that. Uh, my buddy Pete, who you can see his uh, newest Necromunda board in uh, the fighting pits a couple of videos ago that Jay put out. Um, yeah, he made that. Um, he left it with me. I repainted it. Um, yeah, this is, you know, a big mixture of stuff you know I call it kit bash but it's really just trying to utilize um, what I had to make Necromunda boards playable um, so here we go we're gonna start doing a walkthrough here yeah this is the 7-eleven that's the the uh, selling area this is the storage area um, that top comes off um, in other board setups, I had ladders going to the top there where gangers could jump down and jump in. Um, yeah, here's the dock shop. Um, complete. Uh, you've got uh, the little uh, pickup box for the uh, corpse guild, um, you know, or any starving scummers running around. You got the work table up there. You know, you got the, uh, the, the old chair of pain is down over here. Uh, we don't know if you get pain from it or it uh, fi fixes your pain. Haha, <laughs> joke, bad joke, bad joke. Um, yeah, here we go, walking up the tower. Like I said, I didn't even build this, I just repainted it. Um, 
one of Pete's glorious pieces of terrain. Um, we're coming up to the only thing here that I did not make on this board. This was a gift to me. I think it was a birthday present from a few friends of mine. Um, but yeah, this right here is just a piece of plexiglass. Um, well, a couple pieces of plexiglass glued together. I used it, you know, for windows. We repainted it up, um, gave it some texture. Yeah, this is uh, this is really down walk down memory lane. Um, I was really exploring with painting things. Um, what would happen when you really thinned it down? Um, these boards do glow in the dark, just like the other stuff. Um, not a whole lot of graffiti. The poster work was another thing that was new, you know, for me on this. But yeah, you can see Sector Mechanicus stuff. You can see Necromunda bulkheads, uh, full on scratch build stuff. Um, this was, took me a while. This was my, you know, my bones. This was getting my bones into this. The tiles on the bottom, they work just like the Zone Mortalis tiles. So I tried to mimic that. You can turn them. You know have the roads actually work or like in this case right here where you know it, it just walkways to nowhere you know that's fine both ways work um yeah, so much fun that i had with this um and it really sparked my interest in doing other things um you know, this was when I first started worrying about oil paints. Um, I think on this board, there are 15 to 20 bottles of Agrax Earthshade I used. Um, that's a lot of money, which was why I started looking into other options. Um, you know, the oil-based paints, getting an air gun again. You know, this took me a long time to do all this stuff because at this point, I hadn't really even been exploring painting any different way, you know, or working with inks or any of that stuff. This is almost exclusively Games Workshop, uh, regular paints, contrast paints, and washes that I did all of this with. Um, and, you know, it, spending an awful lot of money on paint. So it just natural progressions um, moving forward. Uh, yeah, this here's Tolliver's House of Fish and Chips. This is Tolliver's second spot. Um, I utilized, there's workers that go with this. I didn't put them up. Um, but uh, yeah, I made an outcast gang for those guys. Um, <laughs> Oliver's a dramatus personae in my hive. <laughs> He's got a pretty big storyline. Um, you know, and you, you don't, you know, I have spent an awful lot of money over the years. Um, and I'm going to probably spend a lot more. A lot of people are dropping stuff on me for free because they like what I'm doing um, with all of this. Um, yeah, here's the inside of the, the 7-Eleven again. Um, I just, I can't say it enough. If you just have fun and get out of your own way about how everything needs to look perfect about everything, um, you can do some amazing things. You know, this, this is the stuff that started it all. Um, and Jay and I and everybody that played, you know, with us in our group, um, we just, just hours of fun with this stuff. Have a great night, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.